Synthetic data is artificially generated data, as simple as that. The added value is uh, faster time to market, uh, less size, um, more precise. We can really generate the data on the spot, on the dedicated test cases. And finally, time travels. This means you can test a system how it looks like, for example, the end of the year, instead of just now or three months back when the test data has been taken out of the, of the production. So this is the added value of synthetic test data as a whole. There are many risks. First of all, it's the risk of losing the data. If client data has been or is published to press to any government, whatever, um, the, business, the, the business itself might risk confidence uh, of their clients. As an example, the, the reputational damages on the stolen test data in banks is higher than the, the public deficit um, growth of Greece between 2008 and 2013, which finally uh, ended up in the Euro crisis. So these highlight how sensitive reputation is for, for financial companies, but not only for financial companies. The second risk is, while in the application the business process is stored, the business case of the business process is stored in the data. While handing over to a third party company or to other people, your business processes and your business case endangers finally your business. The third thing is, of course, for the customers. For the customer, if, if there is a healthcare company and your healthcare file might be published for whatever reasons, it might be endangered. The Michael Schumacher case on which somebody tried to sell the healthcare file of Michael Schumacher to the press is the example for that. So this might finally end up in personal consequences for yourself. First of all, protect your data as you do in your production. Just due to the fact that, for example, at the HSBC case in Geneva, it, there were internal people stealing internal test data which were production-alike. The damage out of it with regard to penalty fees, with regard to uh, reputational risks, are huge and totally out of control of any company itself. The second thing is get rid of your production-alike test data. Replace it by synthetic test data as a max just to reduce this type of risks, but at the other hand also increase your efficiency and effectiveness and finally reduce also the amount of test data. Because one thing is true, with about 1% of synthetic test data, you have a test coverage of more than 99%, a value which productive data can never achieve. Production data, it's just limiting your testing capabilities because you're just testing against what you already know. So it's somehow uh, own the happy pass testing, instead of just uh, testing against future or unknown situations. Not all the databases are fully filled. There are always some empty fields, whatever. Depending on the products you have in your production or depending on the client structure you have in your production means that some of the rows, some of the columns, some of the tables are completely empty. The moment somebody fills something in, hastily, cause a defect afterwards. Nobody knows where they come from because it hasn't been on the spot right until now. So while by today it's mostly black box testing when it comes to data, you don't know which data you're dealing with. With synthetic data it becomes white box testing means you know exactly what type of data you have, you know the test data coverage, you know the test data size itself, and you can really choose which test data set you really want the new uh, European uh, Data Protection Act just defines one rule for one continent. Instead of having several data protection laws depending on the country or even to the canton of the dedicated countries, there is one law, overlying law, taking care of all their needs. There is one major change on the new Data Protection Act uh, in, of the European Union, which is it brings back the citizen to a position where he is really the owner of the data. So he can claim whenever he wants uh, to any, any company, what are you doing with my data? All client data has to be protected in the future as it is in production. So also test data has to be protected like production data as well.
A synthetic test data is the solution for all data-related incidents which companies currently have or might have just due to law or regulation reasons, but also with, with respect of the requirements um, citizens have to protect their data on company sites.